Hey, what's happening? This is Fud Too Tight. Came back to do another tutorial on sampling and chopping of samples um, strictly in the MPC Touch um, using the 2.2 software um, hosted by Kai. And, you know, as I had a chance to really mess around with it and really see the workflow that is that is laid out for you, man, I'm really digging it, man. It didn't really take me long at all. Um, my prior video I was showing some examples of using Serato Sample, which is a really nice software, um, especially if you're using any external DAWs outside of Akai, um, if you're using Studio One or Logic or Pro Tools, uh, Fruity Loops, you know, whatever. Whatever you're using to host your audio for DAWs, man, I mean, Serato Sample is really good. But um, playing around with the MPC software, um, the layout, the order that you got to do everything in really puts everything in a nice, um, fast and efficient workflow to chop up and align up your samples so they're all synchronized with the BPM. So i um, not going to spend a lot of time talking about it. I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial and see how um, I'm using this and chopping up the samples. It's really nice. Um, I just did a basic sequence of an old school throwback boom pap style hip hop track. Um, nothing major to it, just wanted to use my own music so I could chop up the show for the example. Um, so it's about 20-30 seconds long. We'll record it directly into the MPC Touch and then we'll get into the editing features to chop it up and synchronize it with the BPM in the Akai DAW. So the first thing you want to do on the MPC is click on the menu tab. And on the menu tab I'm going in my sampler um, icon which is going to allow me to see the input signal of my audio source that I'm playing in. And I, I've already bounced out the demo track that I created in the MPC just as a, a waveform. And I'm just going to re-record it back into the MPC Touch um, as a just a basic file that we could just chop up for the example. Um, so I'm just going to play the track, record it, and from there we'll get into the chopping features on it. And from there, I'll go back to menu, go to sample edit, and the chop is the sample is already there and ready for me to edit and chop. And you know, before I go into the chopping features and um, chopping the sample up, man, I just wanted to point out uh, one of the things that really stood out to me of using the MPC strictly for my sampling and chopping is having the hands on approach of my start and end regions. A lot of the external software I was using, third party vendors, I had to use the mouse um, to start the regions, you know, trim it up a little bit, and at the end of it, just kind of dragging the mouse to shorten it up or lengthen it. And with the MPC Touch, man, you have both the leisure of using um, the on screen or dragging the endpoints and the start points, uh, which is really nice and easy. Or I can use my Q-Link knobs on top, which is really nice, man. I mean, like I said, I'm coming from um, the hardware era where I use a lot of external um, hardware keyboards, sound modules, and everything was hands-on on that. I mean, the software at that time was pretty much non-existent unless you're using, again, another third-party vendor that's going to be able to host and do a lot of your edits on screen with the hardware. But, man, having that approach of using the hardware, again, it just really brings me back um, to a feel um, that I've been um, searching for for a long time. And using the MPC Touch really gives me that old feel again. I really like being hands-on um, with mixing um, and also creating music, man. So, you know, having this hands-on approach is really helps um, gives me a better feel, man. I mean, they're, at the end result, they all turn out the same. But again, it's, I guess it's just, just a preference, I guess. And But again, having the hands-on approach, man, using the Q-Link knobs of my start and end points of the sample is really nice. And also stretching out the sample on screen is really helpful when I want to zoom in on some of the start points. 
Um, I took out the um, the gap already of the start of the track, um, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time on that. Um, but again, I just wanted to point out some of the features I really dig about the MPC Touch is that hands-on approach of doing my edits and chopping up my samples. Um, but as you can see, the sample is in, and the beat detection detected at 191.88. Um, we'll rock with that. I trust it. Uh, I've done several tests on it, man. So the BPM detection on the Akai stuff is pretty much spot on. Um, then it's just really up to you uh, to adjust the tempo of the track that you want to chop up to. But I guarantee you, man, it's going to sync up uh, with the BPM in your MPC software. Uh, when you're playing it back on the metronome, it's on point and it's on key. So again, you can just rock with it with the have. So from the feature, what I want to chop up the entire ch uh, sample into chops, we're going to click on the bottom left-hand corner of your MPC touch that says trim, right on the bottom left-hand corner. If you hit that, it's going to go to chop mode. And you have your options of manual, threshold, regions, and BPM. What I like to do is just chop up as regions. I click on the regions tab and it's going to chop it up to 16 regions. And that usually goes all the 16 pads. If you do 32, they're going to have 32 pads and so forth and so forth. And then to get to the other regions, if you're doing more than 16, you have to click on the pad bank tabs on top of your MPC touch. They go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H all the way through. And then you'll have all of the regions. But for the test, man, we'll just leave it at 16 regions um, just to do some quick edits. And, you know, if you listen to it. So we're all there. Um, but, you know, if I don't like some of the start times, I, you know, I kind of like starting everything on the one on the kick with my, my chops. I can go back start adjusting with the Q links So you get it, man. It's, like I said, just being hands-on in it, I can just really narrow in on the start points and end points of the sample. And since I like what we have for right now, this is going to be a song. This is demonstration. Um, but I want to keep this and make this into an actual program um, in the MPC so I can start chopping up in a sequence um, if I want to start recording. So from there, on the MPC touch, you hold down your shift key and you click on convert right on screen. Click on the convert tab. And that's going to give the option to convert or assign your slices. Now, because we want to make adjustments to the actual pads with your chops that you have, you want to click on the slice type and you're going to choose pad parameters. And what that will do, that will allow you to make adjustments to all of the pads um, on the MPC touch. So from there, we click do it. Go back to main. Go down to your drum program, and it's all the way down at the bottom. So throwback hip hop test. So now. Now it's an actual program that can start tracking and using in my sequences. But we're not done. Now what we want to do is synchronize the chops to the actual BPM that's displaying on the MPC software. Right now it's at 120. So from here, we want to click Warp Samples on the MPC Touch. And from there, to make sure that all of the temples are going to affect all of the 16 pads on the MPC Touch, right on top, there's a pad option. Right now, it's at A07. But we want to click that, and we're going to select All. So it affects all of the pads on all of the pad bangs on the MPC Touch. And once we do that, we click Close. So now, any adjustments I make for tempo, it's going to affect all of the paths. They'll all be in sync together. And I want to warp, and this warping feature takes the actual track, and it's going to warp it to the BPM of the MPC software host. So from here, I click warp, 
and the next thing you want to do is click on the BPM because we're going to change that um, to the BPM track tempo that it was sampled in. And so the BPM detected the track at 191.88. So I'm going to change that to 191.88. And click do it. And there it is. Now because it's at 120, I want to be able to speed that up so it's in sync so I can speed up the BPM on the Akai software and to about 191, 180. See, so I'm going faster, so it's a sample and chop. And to make sure everything is all synchronized with the BPM and the Akai software, we're just going to do a, just a basic track um, just to show the test to make sure it's synchronized with the Metrodome. Um, won't do a heavy lot of chopping. I just want to make sure it's all synced up with the BPM. So here we go. Just four bars, two pads, make sure it's all in sync. And if the start time is a little short, we can always go to edit samples and give that a little bit more leeway on that. So there you have it, man. Everything's in sync. Doesn't take long at all. Like I said, I really love the workflow of the MPC doing it inside the MPC Touch. And if you think about it, man, by the time it takes you to load up a third-party plugin, load the sample, get everything assigned to the pads on it, man, you could do all that time spending that on the MPC Touch, and it breaks about even. I mean, I, there's really no less or no... Uh, more time taking or using one or the other, but again, staying exclusively in the MPC Touch, I, I believe you'll have a better feel and better control of your samples and overall project. And it's just really nice to have everything exclusive on it, man. You know, not taking too much um, memory on your processing. Some of the third-party plugins can be kind of CPU intensive on the, on the drive and your and your processor stuff. So, um, but Akai did a really nice job of using the um, CPU usage really low on the MPC Touch, man. So I'm really focusing on doing everything um, within the MPC Touch, um, including my VSTs. I use a lot of VST um, instruments because um, I'm a keyboard player, so I use a lot of uh, um, heavy um, synths like Omnisphere, Keyscape, Silent, um, you name it, man. I, I got them all loaded up, so I use that. But as far as chopping and sampling, man, um, the MPC Touch 2.2 software, man, that's going to be my home base uh, for all my sampling and chopping. Man, thanks for supporting all my videos. Please subscribe and like, comment. Um, any questions or walkthroughs that you need, man, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to help you out on that. Until next time, you guys keep it tight. Peace.